Better hurry up. Good morning, viewers. Good morning. This is Camping 101. Camping 101. Drove all night in the car straight from Adelaide to Melbourne. Eight hours and 20 minutes. He is a star, let me tell you. And did not have to stop to refuel once. Why? Long range fuel tank, baby. So, we're in Melbourne. What are we doing in Melbourne? We just thought we'd just go for a drive during the night. We drove for the night. Lots of trucks on the road. It is incredibly busy on the road. What and welcome back, nurse. Oh, thanks. It's great to be here. Yeah. I have a little uh, sort of facial situation from the fit mask at work, but apart from that, life is good. We need a shave. What? No, it just is really sort of itchy and yeah. feels inflamed and the skin feels thin. Anyway. So we're in Melbourne, sunny Melbourne. It is sunny, it's going to it's be a beautiful day. 6.30am, the sun's up. Gorgeous cloud of smog and a massive uh, traffic jam. So, mm. welcome to Melbourne. Welcome to Melbourne. And what are we doing in Melbourne? We're picking up the Panda 13. Panda 13. That's the code name for the Chinese caravan. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, pandas come from China. And, and 13, well, it's a 13 footer. And it's my favourite number. 13 footer. Jane likes a bit of a 13 footer. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, nurse, so back on the, on the screen, a bit of absence. Yeah. From the, from the camera. I'm bringing Zen to the world, people. Those of you who didn't particularly um, feel enamoured with Sarge's rant. Last uh, episode, it's up here. I am here to calm the situation. Yeah, well, you know, I was having a... Um, I've come with him to pick up the I, Panda 13, and I will be doing the walkthrough with him just to keep a little eye on him as much as anything else. I was having an angel moment. What's his name? Don Angel. Don Angel. Don Angel. The frog dirty, has landed on the pond. Dirty, You're the pond, and I'm the frog. Dirty Don stop I've just wash. landed on your pond. <laughs> Me, that drive this country's economy, just trying to have a good old fashioned Aussie go. No offence. Dirty dog. If you haven't watched Still Back in Small Business, watch it. Bloody funny Aussie uh, comedy. I'm spewing that there was only one series ever made. But anyway, it's quite funny. Yes, so just a quick uh, welcome. We're going to do um, a delivery. We won't show too much because, like I said in my rant, in the last episode, I don't want to give this organisation any traction, any exposure that would be positive <laughs> or negative. Well, any exposure, full stop. Uh, full stop. Because that's not what it's about for us. It's more we, about I just want to get the caravan, the caravan and itself. we've got heaps of modifications already sorted out for it. I have anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, I've already, have we? already upgraded the electrical, ordered that in, um, so there'll be a episode on that and thanks Three traffic reported ahead oh. can find happiness almost anywhere mm. except traffic must be so prince harry talking to me you can find happiness in traffic as well if you look at other people and look at them getting across yeah. so yeah there'll be a special episode of that thanks to the home of the 12 volt northern back in south australia looked after me so stay tuned for that one Oh, shout out we, to Beachy for the uh, oh, Beachy. baked goods overnight baked goods during thanks night we had pies we had Philos, Philos, all over the top of me. In the uh, travel mate pie oven. And um, some biscuits. Yeah, so that was quite good. Yeah, thanks Danny and Tony. Yeah, from Beachy, one of our supporters. All and right, there? so oh, we'll show you a bit of a hell, snapshot a on, um, yeah, I know. This, is why, this is why I don't live here anymore. Big day today. We're gonna to drive all night, and we're gonna do the handover. I'm not expecting a miracle on this handover. Great customer service. I'm we'll expecting see. it to just go swimmingly. Mm. And then uh, it's off to get the bearings and brakes checked straight after it pedders. What today? Yeah. And then oh, fuck the I wheel line. Do that. No, I can drop the trailer off and drop you back. You're right there, Froggo. <laughs> You having a frog moment? Oh, you know, come on. Well, you slept all night. I drove. 
there is one evidence of you Excuse washing the window. Me? I did not sleep all night, Mark. You had more sleep than me. Yeah, well, whose fault's that? You wanted to drive all night. You said, let's go, June and I, get there first thing Friday. Let's well, when else would we have gone? We can't pick it up on a Sunday, can we? Yeah, true. So we're going to go back through the Great Ocean Road. Never Something been. different. Never been down there. No, Jack Snow has never been. I've been a few times. Um, we've booked into some wiki camp sites, which are pretty good apparently. Good reviews. So we'll give you a bit of a review on that coming up. Um, and probably do a bit of a times four motion of us setting up the caravan. <laughs> that could be comical. That could be very common. Yeah, so, so we picked up the caravan yesterday, got the bearings and brakes checked. Um, now we're getting, before we head to the Great Ocean Road, we're going to get the um, wheel alignment done. These guys at, um, where are we? Hogan's Axle Correction. Down at Sunshine, if you're heading down here and you've got a van, you want to get uh, get them in. They made a special, uh, basically, appointment to get me in, which was good because we were coming in from South Australia, buying a brand new caravan. We were a bit of assurance. Um, a bit of education here to learn about when you buy these vans, they're not wheel aligned. I can tell you right now. Neither are brand new cars, to tell you the truth. The Mazda BT50, I had to get a wheel on when I got the new all terrains and wheels put on. It was way out. Same with caravans. It's nothing, it's not a horror story, but it just doesn't happen. You know, um, they just come out of the factory and you, for safe and peace of mind, it's always good to get the wheel alignment done. Especially if we're driving back 800 k so it gives us a peace of mind. The bearings are good. The Chinese bearings, the guy at Petters were really good. Um, great bunch of blokes there. They've just bought the franchise where we were yesterday, and I'll put those details down. Um, you know, they checked the bearings, brakes. It was 60 bucks. You know, um, you c they didn't need to replace the bearings, um, and he said, give it a couple thousand k's, um, and then get the Australian ones put in, or the German ones. Okay, um, so yeah, there wasn't much wrong with it. It was more than, it was a little bit loose. Um, they just tightened it up, um, not super tight, and it was good, other than that. Uh, a fair bit of grease in there, it was all packed up nice and neat, so that was good. So just giving you a bit of a tour here. So the wheel alignment, this is how a proper wheel, so this is how, proper wheel on it happens. So thanks Hogs. Uh, thanks. So thanks Hogan. Get me in. Really appreciate it mate. Um, and shout out to you and anyone in the Sunshine area, the caravans we were like. Nessa? sitting in the shade of the tree whilst we wait for the wheel alive. Yes, I just went for all that. Yeah. All right. The beautiful industrial estate of the sunshine. Yeah. But I found a shady spot and yeah. I'm happy. All right. Very good. Yeah. Happy. Very happy. Happy. With the van. Happy with the van. Uh, the Panda 13 is the bomb. I slept like a log to the point where I was snoring apparently. Might have been the beers. Uh, we had a lovely time with my family and I can't wait to park up in a few hours and play with my new toy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go and buy a barbecue. Yeah. On the way, yeah, we're gonna drop in at Geelong, barbecues galore. Um, and I'm going to purchase a small thing in the jiggy wani. Yeah. Yeah. That's technical talk for a barbecue. Um, barbecue with a lid, you know, that you mm. can put roast in and stuff. Because mm. the camp oven's great, but you have to be able to light a fire, and I am not having any fat spattered on my new gas range. So we're never going to use it? We can use it for boiling water. Yeah. Only. Okay. Or anything with a lid, but no frying. 
Right. No frying. That's right, Mark. No frying. <laughs> Well, that was okay. Mm. I better do a wiki review, hadn't I? How very done. Oh, what did you say? You might want to edit it. I was angry. Oh, why? <laughs> Had to go, old mate. Well, do you like your car? All right. Are you filming us? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably edit that bit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I might just beep it out. Well, I don't really like being compared with your ex-partners. I, I didn't compare you. I compared. Oh, her, yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, sorry. No, that's yeah. fair. That's, that's two sorries today. Fuck. I'm on a roll. Don't be silly. Did you see those red-hot pokers? Weren't they lovely? No, I'm concentrating on the road. And berating me. <laughs> Sergeant Nurse are back. <laughs> <laughs> you've missed us. Because you've only had me. Now we're back. Shh, don't shout. Oh, don't shout. Jeez, that back again. Can you start singing? Oh, probably. I've got Kashka from Baghdad in my head this morning. Waking up. Is it back? Oh, yeah. I don't know. You're in charge of the back. Okay. You're in charge well, of the this. outside. Look at this. I've always got this feeling I've left the back patch up. Well, sometimes you do. That's perhaps why. And I must insist, there will be no peeing in the shower. Okay? Right, eh? That goes for you. And you. Because it goes into the grey water yes. tank. Yes, I know. And the diluted as it may Oh, you mother! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, I forgot about the way oh. Damn it. If you, the reason why we're... Where are we going? Uh... Portland. The reason why we're a bit competitive, we've just downloaded this new navigation uh, app on our phones. It's called Waze. I don't know if you know about it. A lot of people know about it. I don't, <laughs> I'm only just caught up with all this trend. So apparently, it's crowd, crowd, it's crowd sharing um, where police are, construction sites, speeds, which is really good because the speed, mobile speed cameras of police in the metro area has come up and they're there. So, but it get points and there's a leaderboard every time you report something or do kilometres and stuff like that. So nurses get very competitive now because she's realised that I'm doing it and I've explained it to her. She's downloaded the app and now she's, <laughs> she's got it on her phone while it's on the car navigation, but she's reporting Determined. stuff to, to get points. So that I could change my avatar. There's the apostles. Yeah. Oh. Wow, we we we'll give you some footage of the apostles, but we're not stopping. So. And also, there's only two. No, it's more than two. Three. Well, that's attached to the land, so that's not possible. Anyway, here's a picture for those people overseas of Did what the twelve apostles look like. Oh, there's look, there they there. are. Did we come in this way? No, no, I don't think so. Apparently, people were interested in our shit. So, this is how we do it. Shit job, but someone was going to do it. It's the bed, yeah, the uh, part where I empty the uh, toilet cassette. I didn't want you guys to see our crap. Anyway, this is Port Ferry Caravan Park, free dump point. I think this is a nice caravan park. We'll have to um, come here one day.
the right, kid. I think this is the first time in, what are we on, day three? Mm. We didn't get into the campsite yesterday until about 4.30. And that was set up, eat, sleep, pack up. Anyway, so we're in this good spot down. It's, I'll, I'll put the, um, I'll put the link, Wiki Camps, in the, in there. It's a good spot. Uh, just 30 kilometers before Portland on Victoria side. And it's a little 10 minute walk to the beach and at a river, the Fitzroy River. Is it the Fitzroy River? Pardon? Fitzroy River. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice green camp area, so I'll just give you a quick squeeze. So yeah, that's not bad. Um, there's another option to camp down there near the river and there's a campsite just up there too. It's all obviously self-contained. You gotta be self-contained here, uh, which is, where, where now? Toilets. Oh, there's toilets. There's toilet. Yeah, there's by the river. There's bottle lift, right? oh, there you go. There you go, Nessie. Right. in an element in the kitchen. Oh, that's, that's gender stereotyping isn't it but it's true yeah. you yeah. love your kitchen I, do. I can't i can't touch anything inside the cupboards of the caravan what to do with the kitchen and now the fridge apparently and it's my fridge but i'm about i'm banned from the fridge yeah is that right yeah Why? well yes actually yes you are because you fucking put bottles all over the lettuce and squash it and shit so I'm well not... beer is more important it wasn't even beer oh i know Water, mm. which is important, but lettuce is important to everybody. Remember that. Um, right. We're going to give you a tour tomorrow morning before we head out um, of outside. What is basically a clean, stock standard caravan, a uh, hybrid uh, 13 footer, and some of the mods that we might do. We'll go along with. Mind you, the power system in here is going to get replaced. The battery management isn't a whole lot. Do you want other ones of those? That wasn't me. <laughs> I'd like to make that clear. Uh, I have another one of those. Nurse's cooking tonight. I cooked last night. Uh, it was good. It's good to have a night off. Yeah. We're on the Tukoyla. Tequila. Tequila, straight tequila, lots of ice, lots of lime, and sometimes when you got mint, mint. And it's absolutely beautiful, refreshing. Um, I have triggers from 18 year old in Mexico drinking tequila, but I'm all right with it now, apparently. Go to Mexico? Yeah, Tijuana. I was 17. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but actually, it's quite nice, and you don't get a hangover if you just stay on straight tequila all night and don't change drinks or mix it. it and that's we've proven we've actually proven it. It works. Yeah. yeah. And in these plug Yeti Yeti insulated things, yeah. the ice doesn't even melt. Yeah. Now, Digger's Coffee, Digger, Digger's Coffee. If you're watching, I need some pods. I need to know if you've got pods because this pod machine. Is going off. I'm. Um, huh? Uh, um, the pod machine, an espresso pod machine, does the milk, does everything. It's. Oh, I think I just paid all this money just to have that, and powered that up. So anyway, it's great. Um, it's good to have the coffees in the morning. Yeah. I need to know if Digger's coffees. Yeah. I'll, because Mark drinks fifteen coffees a day. Yeah, I'll need a full box. Please. Full pallet load. Anybody? Pallet load of um, Any sponsors pods. out there? We've got Digger's Coffee sponsoring us. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. But if they don't do pods. Yeah, they'll do pods. I'll find out. Yeah. So, anyway. So, I'm cooking a barbie tonight. We're having a pork spur rib thing. Are they spur ribs? Yeah. Are they? Oh, there's your ball again, you boys. Yes. Just 
telling the kids off. I asked them to bat the other way so they wouldn't fucking hit us, but no, no, no. Fucking good. I'm attempting to uh, keep the Barbie a little cleaner with the greaseproof paper because I don't want to clean it. But it's not working. It looks alright though. Well, I'm off to have another tequila. Um, I'll do some more filming tomorrow before we head out and hopefully I can get the drone up in the morning. If it's not too windy, I'll get the drone up and uh, let you know what some of the sights. Alright, stay safe. G'day viewers, I'm just going to give you uh, a quick walkthrough before we head back to Adelaide today. We've got a five, six hour trip uh, to get Nurso back for a night shift tonight. Um, yeah, so here we go. So come with us, Nurso. So just a quick one, we'll do a real in-depth one later down the track. We've got two toolboxes, they're good for Sarge's tools, Any uh, the jack, anything you need to get to on a trip. It's a bit messy, not to nurse's standards at the moment, but um, yeah, so put all the tools in there. We've got the two gas bottles, there's also a... Shows how you close it. Oh, it's, just, it's... Yeah, it's good, it's a good clip. And you put a padlock there. Yeah. And, um, We've also got a bike rack coming. Um, I'll put a picture up in the display. We've got a bike rack coming. Get me to on the camera, please. We've got a bike rack coming to carry our two e-bikes. Um, and that's custom made to fit on the A-frame bars. Two gas bottles, nine kilos. Old nurse bought this. She wanted a, her back BB, BBQ. So she got that. And we're going to get a barbecue arm or something on the rear to put it near the kitchen. Another toolbox here. We've also got two jerry can holders on the front there. We might not considering how many freaking flies are around it. Another toolbox. The best thing about this, if we're on the road, we can access the fridge from in here. And that's the fridge compartment from the front access, which is good. We I used that the other day to get into the fridge. It's got the slide out option as well. No, we're going around this way. Um, here, we just got some knickknacks. We just chuck stuff in. You've got two good drawers up here. That's all our toilet stuff, fire lighting stuff. Oh, insect repellent. Yes. Um, pots and pans. That's just a bin that's just falling out. That, especially for the generator, what I'm going to do is take the shelf out because the barbecue don't quite fit and I'll relocate that shelf around the other side maybe or use the rails for something else and put the barbecue in here um, and relocate the wheel chocks and all that, that's just in there for the time being. The best thing about this is you've got another storage trunk up here, now at the moment it's just got the awning stuff and that but I've got to go through that. Um, there's some things we won't need, like the shower curtain and stuff, because I'm going to mount the uh, kick-ass one to the caravan. So there's a, that goes all the way through uh, to the other side, which is great. It's got lights, all internal lights. In every compartment you see, it's got internal lights. Another Easter egg we found, we didn't know. So we never looked at this van physically when we bought it. That's the Dunny, that's Nurse's Poo Waste. The Sarge doesn't fit. You don't need to know about her crap. Um, <laughs> that's the shore power inlet. Um, that's TV antenna from external from shore. Now I got this confused the other day. That's filling the tanks, and that is shore water, mains water. Um, you got the rock sliders, and this is the, yeah, the 16, 16s, yeah, wheels, and you got rock sliders there. You've got the outdoor shower in here, which I'm not going to open just yet. Hot water system, Truma hot water system, gas and electric. Um, bayonet here for the kitchen. Kitchen slide out kitchen, which is quite convenient. Um, I'm not going to say this is nurse's domain, this is our domain. Um, I'll just move the crash pad. Crash pad, I'm going to do a plug for these guys later. Um, and with this one, you get the four burner. 
we keep these in, told to keep these in stop obviously will minimize scratching and rattling on the road slide out drawer a slide out table not a slide out bench thing which is good um, in here mini type quick access pantry I'd say what is what nurse is set up um, you got your water pumps water systems here you got your external air, uh, TV which I didn't know you plug these in to the stereo system and you can play DVDs to your TV how cool is that another research <laughs> um, 240 out here so you, you got 12 volt here TV mount for outside Ooh. coffee table bar whatever bar, bar. <laughs> Uh, this lights up, it's all pretty fancy. Come out to the slide out fridge, huh? Uh, stow trunk, and then you got the well, fridge. And I'm gonna probably put another uh, drawer for a uh, pantry up on top. I've seen a lot of people do it. You can pull the pantry out, get what you want, close it, and pull the fridge out. We can have both out at the same time. So I'll look at doing that mod as well because we're having trouble finding pantry space. Um, electric awning. We we've got that down. It was a bit windy last night, but we'll do a more in-depth review later. All right, Nurso, your time to do uh, your area responsibility. Uh, key cupboard and some electrical shit. And some more electrical stuff. Yeah. There's some cupboards here. There's one behind here, but I'm not going to show you. That's quite a big space, so I can probably use that as a pantry. Sarge has to have his coffee machine. Got some cupboards in here, just a little bit of storage. Got to be a bit mindful though, because the electrical stuff's in there, so I can't put anything liquid in there. Um, shower and toilet in here which we have used this morning and had lovely hot showers there's a vent up the top there you can open the window turn the vent on toilet's good it's big enough works well shower curtain drops down uh, cupboard clothes and what have you bit of a mess at the moment because we've only just started Aircon down there, Vince. Yeah. Uh, Sarge's TV. There. We've got the bed pulled out, and I will be folding everything up onto one mattress, pulling it up onto the other, so that we can fold the back down. A little storage cupboard here, little bedside table. Sarge's got a little pouch over there. We'll tweak things. Notice how nurse grabbed the storage side of the bed first. Anyway. Notice how that's my side of the bed and you always complain if I try to sleep on the other side. Uh, plenty of power points. There aren't any up by the bed, but we've got down here, hot water here, which I'm about to turn off because we're done for the day. Um, there's a speaker there for the radio. Something technical was, down there. What was the Easter egg we found in here that we didn't know? Well, the lights, the touch lights. Yeah. And the little bedside lights are really bright. Um, this is the frame to pop the top up, which is fairly easy. It's I can understand how people do struggle a bit because yeah. it helps to be small mm. to, to get it up. Um, helps to be small to, to get, get it, it up. up. <laughs> These are really good. We've got lovely big windows with different settings on them. And then we've got the fly screen and the slide down blinds on the all, which is lovely. Mm. Um, yeah, all the top opens up nicely, you get some nice breeze. So I just bought some fans to replace these, so we're having one each side, I think. Oh, one on that side and I'll get another one put in for that side, because the power's already there. Oh, I don't really care about it. Oh, we'll just put one in there. Uh, smoke alarm, which is good. And fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. One thing I was worried about, guys, it was the Australian safety standards when I purchased this because we didn't see and we didn't know. So I was happy to see that there was a smoke alarm and fire extinguisher, two Australian standards. So, yeah. 
that's a quick, a very quick um, walkthrough. So we'll give you more in depth as we do mods and, and educate. We might do some education videos because there wasn't much out there. Or well, there was, but not, not to for this what, one. Not for this one, which we're going to start doing. So with a bit of comedy, maybe. <laughs> You're not very comical this morning. No, I don't want to go to work. Oh. <laughs> um, so back to Adelaide today. I've got to register this tomorrow at the inspection site. Um, yeah. And then power upgrade to medic. Um, what was it? Dust retractor or dust? I don't know. I don't know. Something to stop that's, the dust. Yeah, so I'll give a view on that. Stop the dust. And that's about it. And the power yeah, up. What's she barking at? Yeah. So... Thanks for watching. Very happy with the Yeah, we are. We're excited. Very happy with this is like Panda 13. Panda 13. So hashtag Panda 13. That's that's what we've called Lulu. this. Like I said, I'm not going to give the manufacturer or the organisation that we bought through any positive promotions. Um, only because, I mean, this is a great van. It's a great first starter and we're learning. I've never owned a caravan on the road. Jane has back in her younger years. I um, will give the boys on the floor their due. Yeah, the boys did a good run through. When we did the handover, they were good. Yeah. yeah. But the customer service area was appalling. Anyway, that was. But I'm not going into that. So, I'm not going to have another uh, Don Don Angel, Don Angel <laughs> rant, <laughs> even though that was the most popular episode we've ever had. Um, so, thanks for watching. Um, continue to watch, please, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications, which are just down there, and uh, <laughs> and get more new adventures for Sergeant Ness off roading. I don't know where the next one will be, but yeah, we we'll, might do some exploring around the uh, York Peninsula, hmm. Gravel Bay. Go back to Gravel Bay because it's quite nice down there. Yeah, so stay tuned and um, stay safe. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Thirsty abs. So how was your play date? Hey? Good? good. And how are you? Very good. Yeah? I had fun with all the boys. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> what we need are places that don't have any kids. Or cut. Oh, comes out of mine. I don't mind from the set of like making the boys. I need to send you to cinematography lessons. I need to send you down up there, can't you? See? Sink. You're some kind you're of hero. Mom. If you are a mole, you're a beautiful mole. Partner, I should say. What was she saying? 
everybody f knows about you, Dan. Every, every all the other people know about you. Just f off. go home, you. F and he said, "All right, then I will." She said, "What well, fucking f right, then do?" And I thought, if your kids are listening to that, that's really not. Well, it's just not a safe environment. They won't feel emotionally safe. She sounded like my last ex. Oh, great. When she got pissed.